Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lynn, a mama of five, and I do all kinds of videos, cooking, cleaning, motherhood, motivation, DIY crafts, and I like to focus on mental health as well. I just want you moms to know that you are not alone in this journey. Today's video is kind of a two-part. I did a cleaning in the evening and you guys will see that and then the next day when it was bright and sunny outside I decided to do some decorating for spring. So you're going to get a nighttime clean and daytime spring decorating so I'm really excited. I'm even more excited because this video is in collaboration with my sweet sweet friend Jennifer from House of Hunts. I am going to leave all of her video information in my description box. You guys are going to love her as much as I do. Please go check out her video when you are done watching this one. Let her know we sent you. Make sure you subscribe. She has got so much to offer. We have similar content and honestly, she is one of the sweetest souls I have met. So please go check her out. If you guys are from Jennifer's channel, I am so glad you're here. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Before you go, I have so many good videos coming up and I know you will not want to miss out. So let's go ahead and get started in this relaxing nighttime cleaning and then be prepared to decorate for spring. <music> Okay, as promised, I am gonna start by cleaning up the kitchen after dinner. I am gonna put all of the food away. This will kind of give you a good idea of my cleaning routine in the evening, so I hope this is relaxing for you guys. So it's kind of a relaxing clean with me as well as a nighttime routine. So you guys will get to see that. No, this was not burned. This pan just gets really dark like this. I made some ground turkey and onions and then I roasted some Brussels sprouts with just some olive oil and salt and pepper, a little garlic powder, and it was so, so, so good. Now on to cleaning up the dinner dishes. I go through this super fast. Obviously it's sped up, but it takes me about a minute. I'm just scrubbing everything down very, very easily and putting it in the dishwasher. I don't really fuss with it too much. I just wanna remind you guys, if you are getting some cleaning motivation and you maybe just like to see how other people have their nightly routines, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I've had some of you guys ask me where I got this glass rectangular Piece. I got this from Grove Collaborative. I have a link in my description box if that's something you're looking for. Also the glass bubble up set. I love it. Honestly, it keeps everything looking really neat and tidy and I think it's perfect. I am just gonna give you a quick overview of the living room and a little bit of the dining room, which is pretty much the kitchen before I get into cleaning it some more. I had this basket in here, so I decided to use it. I am going to fill it up with everything that does not need to be in the living room, and then I will disperse everything later or the next morning. Just depends on if I can get to it. But honestly, this makes cleaning up areas so much easier because you put it in the basket, and then I'm not going into other rooms and getting distracted. Don't forget to like and subscribe, please. That was so cute. I did not know he did that. I was getting the vacuum and he did that all on his own. My kids are my biggest supporters. It just really warmed my heart when I saw that when I was editing. Let me know in the comments below, do you have a nightly cleaning routine or do you just kind of go with the flow? I do. I need to get everything in order for the next day and I do not and will not wake up to a dirty house. So this is something I do every single evening. Do, do, do. 
I was allowing Liam to have a little screen time and Noah was in my room and fell asleep so I'm going to put him to bed now. Josiah decided he needed more food. Does this happen to anybody else? My kids always eat their dinner and then want something before they go to bed. You guys might notice that Ruby is very itchy and I have shaved her down quite a bit. She has got some serious allergies going on. I fear that she is allergic to my cat. Let me know if you guys have an animal with some severe allergies and what do you do? I am not particularly a fan of my cat on the table. Unfortunately, Ruby kept getting into her food and she could not jump to anywhere higher so I put her food on my table so now we are trying to train her to stay off of it. I am going to get started on the laundry. If you guys saw Monday's video you saw how the laundry as some of you said exploded. Huge mess. So I am trying to tackle this. It's going to take me a while because if I do it all in one day that means I have to fold it and put it away in one day and that is not happening so I am just pacing myself every week I will clean the litter box out completely with all new litter obviously I clean it every single day but I like to get fresh litter in there once a week and that is what I am doing here it was definitely in need this little kitty uses this thing a lot I had forgotten how much maintenance it is. My daughter has a cat and she handles it, so I have forgotten. I do not like my house smelling like the dinner that I just made, so I will always run my diffuser or put a Scentsy bar in. Sometimes I have little man help me clean up this playroom, but tonight since he fell asleep in my bed, I'm going to take care of this on my own. Hey, and you know what? Real life, sometimes I do it on my own without asking him. That's life. Now I am on to doing the mounds of laundry. I have to say I pride myself on the fact that I can fold insanely fast. So from start to finish, I was able to do this laundry in about 15 minutes. I have a timer on my camera and it had not gone off yet. so. Not bad for three loads of laundry. I don't know why I can just get through it. I'm telling you guys, I am made for this motherhood thing. I know you guys could probably laugh at this. Noah told me that all of his friends were asking what their moms did. And he said, oh, my mom is a laundry girl. <laughs> she does laundry. I laughed because you know what? He is right. And now everyone at school thinks I do laundry for a living. Just like this. Cause when the daylight comes, we're just good friends, baby, good friends, hanging on. It is the next day, and we are going to now do some daytime spring decorating. I am pulling my bins out of the attic, and this is some of the stuff I've got. I always think I have so much more until I start going through it. That's why I don't like to buy anything new for the season until I bring everything else I own out. As I go through some of my items, I will be sure to try to let you guys know where I got it, And but when I have my spring home tour, I will go more into detail. Here is a picture of Isabella at nine months old, you guys, my little bunny. The moss bunny I got last year at TJ Maxx. 
the sign, the white family, was from Unique Creations. They are on Instagram and Facebook. It is a friend of mine's brother. If you happen to look him up, let him know that Lynn sent you. I'm telling you guys, it is absolutely more beautiful in person. This blue jar I got at Home Goods earlier, I think last year, and then the flowers are mixed from Michaels and Hobby Lobby, whatever is on sale. I got those last year as well, but I know that they have these every season. The eggs are from Michaels, and that was from last year. I believe I got them on sale for about, I think like a big bag of them for $5. The orchid is from Ikea, and they have that all year round, and honestly, it is beautiful, and I love it. The Easter greeting sign is from Marshalls. The carrots are from Hobby Lobby, and just so you guys know, the mirror there, the arch mirror, is from Kirkland's. This was a purchase I got at my birthday because my other mirror broke, and I love it. The He Is Risen sign, I believe I got that at Kirkland's and the bunny I got from Marshall's. The egg, my mom actually gifted to me. I am really liking how everything came along. This is my first go at it, to be honest with you. I will probably fiddle with it a little bit more and then by the time I have my home tour, which I am planning for that to be up on Monday, things might be moved around again. So definitely make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that home tour. I'm planning for it to come out next week. so. I hope you guys liked everything. If you like videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. I have so many great videos coming up. I am so thankful for each and every one of you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.